Where are we on jobs and growth? I think everything is okay. Yes, we see what the analysts are saying and we see the price of the stocks, but, but business is still good. And our industry combined with the larger travel and tourism infrastructure still has the ability to create jobs. But we have to lessen the barriers to make it difficult to, for people to come here. We have to make sure that we are focused on infrastructure in our country, especially as it relates to travel and tourism, so that people can get through our airports, they can get to the destinations that they want to, and continue to have support from whichever administration is in D.C., so that we will continue to create jobs. You very often make that case at the beginning of a conference, we need major investments. How do you rationalize where that money should come from? Look at LaGuardia. They're starting work very soon. It's a public-private partnership between the Port Authority. They've got private investors. You can make these deals happen. And we need to rebuild our infrastructure or other people in other countries are going to take our travelers. Can you help us about what is going on in the broader economy at the moment? When we, a, a day like today when people are so worried about the lack of job growth, maybe is it just a one-off thing this month or is it a, a broader problem, do you think? Well, certainly if you look at retail, they're suffering, but that same consumer is spending as it relates to travel. They still want the experience of getting on an airplane, going with their family, attending a meeting. Group business is still very strong. If you look at our group properties, they're doing extremely well because of the strength of the group traveler. Group, the group area, though, is the one area that if CEOs are going to cut back on, they're going to slice. But they have, it, they, they, historically, that has been the case. My question is, in a day like today, moving forward, what do you think the Christmas party? Well, we haven't gotten any cancellations today. No, so. no, but but, but as, as CEOs look at what's happening with the economy, of course. maybe they're focused on the election. Travel, business travel is oftentimes the first thing to go. You would admit that? I would admit that, but we are seeing no signs of that yet. Right. We have a new hotel opening, a thousand rooms in Orlando on the grounds of Universal Studios, 1,000 rooms with 115,000 square feet of meeting space. The forward bookings are very, very strong. You're going to have the most of the industry uh, together. What is their posture right now regarding non-traditional lodging, Airbnb, all these other things? Are they having a measurable impact on the, uh, the traditional part of the industry? Certainly, depending on the market, the impact is stronger. Depending on the price point, the impact is stronger. So you're having a, a sense of, of cities like New York, which may be getting to an overbuilt situation very quickly because We've added some 30,000 rooms in the last 10 years. There are 20,000 new rooms in development or under construction. So right now we're at about 109,000 rooms. Airbnb is having an impact in New York. You're starting to see it in markets like Miami. Miami is impacted by the strong dollar, by weakness in South American currencies and South American countries. So it depends on the market, but it is definitely having an impact on the industry. And when you start to see the megas get even bigger, the Marriott's and the Starwoods, I would think that some of their philosophy is how do we combat the OTAs, the shared economy that we live in, and how do we move forward together as a stronger, larger company. Hey CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.